So, McFarlane Deathstroke. Uh, when I first saw him, I wasn't really all that impressed with him, to be honest, but now in hand, it's a pretty sweet figure. He's got a bit of balancing issues because McFarlane uses these awful ratchet feet and um, they just never want to be in the right position. Uh, I'm not really sure about the blue. Is the blue too dark? The main thing I'm gonna try to improve here is I'm gonna fill in all these little cracks here with silver because in the game uh, he had a lot of like random silver everywhere because of like battle damage. This needs to be painted silver too but I don't really have a reference for this because this entire like ab section is inaccurate to the game. It doesn't look anything like this. And then um I might redo the eye, because I think he, it may, it looks like he's looking off at an angle, like just a little bit, maybe the eye is too small, but uh, we're gonna start with giving these silver bits a wash, I think, so I'm gonna take some non-oil here, and we're gonna give it a little, little shake. I'm gonna be quite heavy-handed here, because I'm going to go over the scales with silver anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's a bit heavy, I think. Hold on a minute here. It's silver here, but up here is blue. Why? Hmm. I probably have to repaint this entire bit silver too. The thing I like about McFarlane here is I've actually sculpted these little grooves in the joints themselves so the joints aren't smooth, like uh, Marvel Legends tend to do that sometimes. The sculpt is actually consistent throughout the entire arm. Normally I would advise you let this dry for a little bit, but I am very much in the mood to paint right now So I'm just gonna go straight for the little eye outline in the game Slade here has some black outlining his mask his eye. I mean There is some indication in the sculpt where the black should be, so I don't have to paint this completely blind. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's move on straight to the silver. I'm gonna use this iron hand steel. So in the game, this line here is completely blue, so I don't really know what we're gonna do. Maybe just like weather it like this, like small vertical strokes to make it look a bit worn and not like intentionally silver and i can see that you see this crack here i'm just gonna paint this in right now and now basically everything is gonna be i'm gonna be looking for these cracks like there's one here And already I feel like this is helping quite a lot with the look. It really breaks up all this blue.
So with most of the actual grooves uh, painted in, let's do some, um, just some uh, normal weathering. So I, I guess it's just like a form of edge highlighting where you, like the corners and edges are where the paint would chip the most. So let's just do a bit of that to add some extra color to it. What I'm doing now isn't gonna really show up. You know, it's not gonna make like a massive difference if you look at him overall. It's just like, if you look closer, you just it's just gonna bring so much more life to the entire thing. The more paint in this case, the better. It's like a little bit of paint to have some wear to it. Like barely even noticeable. Like you can see it there. You see how much better that looks? Those little flakes of silver just shining through. Like just imagine all the times he's been climbing something and his armor has scraped against like a wall or something. This is what we're highlighting now. Basically we're creating a story with paint here. And also since we're doing just the edges for the most part, we're creating some definition as well. Actually, let's paint it all silver like that, and then scrape it off the majority. There. So I feel like his eye is a little bit too small and looking at like closer up, I feel like I can actually see the intended eye sculpt. So I'm going to try to paint that in. So I start off with like just a little bit of black for the eyelid and because this is so close up, it's really hard to get a good angle while still being able to paint, so forgive these, this footage, it might be a little bit inconsistent. I feel like that's more accurate. And now, go in with black. White here at the edge.
basically what I'm doing is I'm just moving the eye, like, I feel like that's better. gonna do his pretty little baby blue eye. Well, it's not really baby blue, I'm just gonna pick like a blue. Oh, I cannot see if I'm... And now, finally, top it off with a black dot. And I missed completely. I cannot see this. So there we go with the eye fixed. I think that looks really good. So now I am for the most part done. I'm just gonna do some little detail work, like the top of these. Uh, I, I guess shotgun uh, shells. They're supposed to be silver. So I'm just gonna hastily get some silver up here. And looking at the reference, this bit here is supposed to be all silver. Okay, similar bits, well, corresponding bits on the other side, so... Silver, that... This grenade is apparently silver. But I think like a dry brush is enough. Don't really need to cover the entire thing in silver. Then this thing, whatever it is in the middle. It appears the game is over before it even begins.